Well, we got another one that I said we would go, we would do for early of 2019. So let's talk about this. And is the directorial debut of a former actor from Predator, the original. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang is a black comedy neo-noir crime film written and directed by Shane Black in his feature film debut store produced by Joel Silver and of course stars Robert Downey Jr., Val Kilmer, Michelle Monaghan, Corbin Bernstein, Rockman Dunbar and the plot of this awesome film is in this movie two-bit crook Harry Lockhart stumbles into an audition for a mystery film but he's also on the run from the cops winning the part he lands in Hollywood where he's flung to a tangled murderous conspiracy with his childhood sweetheart Harmony Lee Lane and hard-boiled private eye detective Perry Van Strike this debt and is this movie is a, basically a parody of film noir tropes and basically he recounts recent events and there's a burglary his friend is shot he has to evade police he and what happens is that's how He's trying to figure out who's the killer and all this. And we have our little movie here. So, yeah. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Great directorial debut for um, Shane Black. I really love this movie. This is my favorite film of his. I have seen The Nice Guys. Um, Iron Man 3 I really enjoyed. And I really like The Predator. I didn't mind the Predator film that he made from this year. But also, I did have some problems with The Predator 2018. But it wasn't a bad film. This, on the other hand, shows that he is very talented. He's very creative. And he's also the writer of Lethal Weapon. And he's... He's a great writer and he's a he's a great director. I really like the humor and the idea of film noir blending in together. I really like that. I thought that was really great. I thought that was was very well handled on the filmmaker's part. I thought the rest of the the cast was really good. I really like the cast here. I love the, I love the, the hilariousness here. It's very funny, it's very cool. You have film noir and crime drama, comedy, and then you have some, then you have detective novels. And that was pretty cool. It's in a modern setting, you, re realistic characters, and it uses the spirit of those film noir films from 1950s and 1960s. And the act, the acting is really great here. I really love the the acting here in this movie. I love Robert Downey Jr. He is a great actor. You got Iron Man in here. Is Robert Downey Jr. He's a great actor. This is before, and this actually kickstarted him. This actually led him to getting that part in Iron Man, as he said, and ended up being his calling card to Iron Man, as the performance attractive. John Favreau and Iron Man was his career resurrection but let's not forget that this film was close even though it made 15.3 million dollars so kind of, this is a shame not a lot of people went to go see it because this was a very funny good movie 
you have a cool tongue in cheek fashion with it too. Val Kilmer is really great in here, and he's he's always great. I love Val Kilmer as an actor. I liked him in Batman Forever, and I really liked him as Moses in the Prince of Egypt movie. Corbin Bernstein, I do remember from Psych. He's really good in the movie. I thought he's really awesome here. Rockman Dunbar, this was before The Family That Prays. I really like like him here. You got a young Ariel Winter in here playing the part Michelle Monaghan plays, but y younger as a kid. Then we have the scene stiller beside Robert Downey Jr., Michelle Monaghan, and she is great in this movie. She is gorgeous in this movie. She's really attractive in the movie. Yes, I find Michelle Monaghan attractive, okay? I'm a guy, so what are you going to do about it? <laughs> and she's very attractive. I like the chemistry her and Robert Downey Jr. has, and she's pretty sexy throughout the whole movie. And uh, she wears... And then also we get to see her wearing the Santa Claus outfit, like the Santa's little helper outfit. But this is a sexier version of the Santa's little helper outfit. <laughs> I know Mean Girls also did this, but I ain't, offend I, I ain't offended. It's alright if, if another actress in the movie wants to wear the Santa's little helper outfit. I'm not going to take that from you. You're at they're actors. You can do what you want. Acting. You can do what you want. And I like the score. I really like the title sequence. is really good. And nice cinematography. Nice editing. An hour and 43 minutes. It's, it's very fast paced. And this is a pretty underrated movie. If you ain't seen Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, you don't know what you're missing. Watch it. I think you really like this movie. I'm going to give Kiss Kiss Bang Bang a better than Vampire Academy. So let me know what you guys think of Kiss Kiss Bang Bang down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? And I will see you guys in the next video. And you guys keep it cool. Let's continue the road to 1K subscribers. And join the Epitaskinus.